Now, as you guys can see, we are the plastic Nazis at my shop. I hate plastic. I mean, to be honest, if they had a paper condom, I'd probably try one out. You sure about that? You're not covering the whole car. You're going to get overspray everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. Colbert Speed Recovery Finish Network. All right, guys, so I got a quick, simple job for you guys today. CRV had a damaged fender. It was beyond repair. I was like, hey, pff, you know, I think these fenders are like 100, it was like 150 bucks, something like that, super cheap. The main expense when it comes to parts replacement is not the part itself. It's not painting that part itself. It's everything around it you gotta blend. While there is paint to match companies that send you pre-painted auto body parts to your door, um, that is beautiful and sometimes you look out you get a perfect match however typically speaking a car like this 10 years old um, excuse me actually 11 um, you have to blend some fresh metallic and blend it into the old for it to match now as you guys can see we are the plastic Nazis at my shop I hate plastic it's very difficult to work with you know especially if you get the cheap plastic I'm sure there's plastics out there that are nicer to work with I mean, to be honest, if they had a paper condom, I'd probably try one out. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Wait, condoms are latex. Those aren't... Oh, man. Over there, that pink man, I found a cup of soap on the arrowhead. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> but anyways, just joking, guys. <laughs> But yeah, so we, we, we papered up a good majority of the job, just threw some plastic over the back half, covered the whole car. I know all the uh, keyboard warriors love to talk about how when I'm doing mobile auto body, I don't, I don't you're, not covering, you're not covering the whole car, you're going to get overspray everywhere, blah, 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 blah. Let's get some paint in the gun, and we're going to go ahead, I'll, I'm going to talk you guys through part of the job, and uh, let's get to spraying. scientific minds we have today. So as you guys can see, you know, with the wet bed, it really does help um, keep the job looking smooth as you're applying those metallics down. All that overspray just lands right in that wet bed and keeps everything smooth and consistent. We're putting down a second coat. This is more of an orientation coat just to make sure we got full coverage. Now we're going to double back. We're going to do one more coat of paint. We got a little bit of a um, base coat left over from our, you know, orientation coat. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw a color blender in it. So now we have our color blender mixed in with our base coat. We mix this one to one. Now we're just gonna spray this color blender a little bit past our full concentration of base coat to basically fade it out and create that nice transition between the old paint and the new paint. Um, you know, this is basically like the Elmer's glue of auto body. So connecting, you know, those two pieces of paper into one 
This is like the glue, okay? This is one that's gonna create that super smooth transition between the old color and the new, as you guys can see in my tape, just how ever so perfectly gradual that color is faded into the door and into the rest of these surrounding panels. It is a perfect gradual change between the old and the new paint. And this is exactly the professional finish you want. Another little trick on how I keep my guns super clean without always breaking them down. Um, I just grabbed the Speedo Coat Spray Gun Paint Remover. Um, this stuff, this is the non-VOC compliant version. You do not want a VOC compliant uh, spray gun paint remover. Um, it is garbage. You might as well do the old Marco Colbert spit and wipe for free because um, that stuff does nothing. Um, this stuff, it, it cuts down the paint really good. I've been getting really comfortable with the SMR-135 for these winter jobs um, and spraying in the cold, and I've actually been getting a whole lot of success with not getting runs um, with this product. And it still puts out a really good OEM gloss and shine um you know really good finish you know and I, you really only need like two coats of clear with this stuff it's a three to one so it's got some solids to it it's a good product For a job that is done out of a spray booth under 40 degrees, this is on the tipping edge of perfection. You little internet keyboard warriors really made me have to, uh, just, just for fun, not that I had anything to prove to anybody, but y'all really made me have to pull out the, the ace. Because a lot of times on these YouTube videos, I don't show people my full deck of cards. It's right here. <laughs> this episode is partially sponsored by JFEGWO Jump Pack Starter Systems. So I was doing some spring cleaning, moving some cars around. Uh, of course, Wing Wang, completely dead. Like literally zombie dead. I mean, there was not one volt in that battery, most likely. Um, and this thing actually did really well. It started the car right up even after sitting for weeks. Um, that battery was so dead, it had zero juice to it, and uh, it did a great job getting my car started. He's one of the best scientific minds we have today.
you guys have it. All finished up. Really good blend. I'm really happy with this one. I think the main thing I'm unhappy with about this job is just like any older car, guys, you know, super glossy, super glossy, super glossy, super glossy. And then we get to the back and it's just <laughs> dull. You know, this is one of the crappy things about, you know, doing bodywork in paint is when you're doing uh, insurance jobs or collision jobs or you get a car that's over 10 years old and they haven't uh, sent it to a detailer or sent it to me, had it properly buffed out, um, you are going to you are gonna see the difference. And it actually will throw the color match off by a lot. Like you're looking at these two panels, right? This one looks darker and this is like looks a little bit lighter, right? The reality is, is they are actually the same exact color. You guys saw my tape when I was doing my paintwork. There was no color back here. It was just clear coat. So they are, they, whatever factory base coat was underneath of this clear coat that we put on top of it is exactly what this is. But you can see, darker, lighter. As far as what Marco did, the work Marco did, I am very, very pleased with this thing, you know? And another thing I'm going to show you guys. You know, once again, these are, uh, you know, yeah, could I, I probably could have dabbed a little bit of base coat over that, but then, you know, it still would have stuck out. Um, you would have seen a big old metallic blob in the middle of the hood. When you're doing blends, you know, you can't put any color in this area. There's something like maybe like right in the middle of the hood, you know, could you have flicked a little base over that? Sure, but once you get into this zone over here, you know, you, you're getting, you possibly get a little bit of overspray on your, your blend edge. Not good. You know, any little imperfections and whatnot or, you know, stuff like this, you almost have to just clear coat over it. And I'm sure there's some guys that are going to get on to pay it this, in this video. And, ah, you're doing, nah, you can do this. Nah, you can do that. I'm sure. As the clear coat goes, man, um, I haven't really used the SMR 135. Uh, consistently in a couple of years, probably about two years or so. I'm probably going to be sticking to this for a primary winter clear coat. Um, it's been pretty reliable with me. I mix and match here and there, beep bop here and there between different clear coats that we offer. Ah, let's see how this one works in this temperature. Let's see how this one works in this temperature. Blah, 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 blah. Um, the 135, the SMR 135, is a really good clear coat below 40 degrees. It performs very well. Top of its high, you know, fast drying performance, it's got a good solids, you know, you can really slick it out and get it to lay, you know, really flat if you want to. It's, it's, dude, for 109 bucks, I mean, you just, you, you cannot get much better than this. You know, and the thing is, most clear coats on the market are on, uh, for 109 bucks are, are a four to one. Uh, they're super, super low solids. You know, this is like a three to one. This is like a medium solids, going to give you a nice gloss, um, durable, uh, shiny. It dries quick under 40 degrees. It's everything you could want for a clear coat. You know, I mean, it looks good, man. It looks real good. Can't even tell on the hood where we started and stopped the paint. I'm like, I'm very, very, very happy with this job, man. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you guys are looking for the best, most affordable auto body products in the world, head to www.speedocoat.com. They have everything you need to get your projects done. Like, subscribe, new videos are